go viral. I'm homicidal, I'm killing all my rivals. I'm the man, shit, I put that on the Bible. I spot off my target, cause you know I got the title. Hey, I'm a Mac too. I told baby, shake that ass like she apple. She said it's real, so she got my name tattooed. House full, so I hit it in the back room. Whoa. Baby said she needed nail, peep the urgency. I want a little Kim before she had the surgery. Leg spread on that hardcore poster. She loved twerking, she just do it for the coach. For the coach. Big dog, big dog, bull mask. Bull mask. Six tray Chevrolet, I'm classic. Yeah. All these niggas mad at me, that's tragic. So the main bitch in the bed, that's graphic. Yeah, we about to go viral. Go viral. Hey, hey, hey. We about to go viral. Top of the morning, top of the morning, viral gang. We in here. We outside today. What's the deal? Shake them sheets, brush your teeth, get up, get a workout in. Go make you some money, you feel me? It's Sunday. Go on a hike, read a book, get your mind right. Elevate, hustle and motivate. But yeah, today we got to talk about this Cam Newton interview that just went viral, right? Now, Cam Newton, his podcast been on a cool run. He been having a lot of viral clips. More notable. More notably, the last one he did with Charleston White. Charleston White came up there and ran circles around him low key. Charleston White went up there spitting that that talk, talking that talk. So Cam just had this female on, Dr. Bryant, and they was talking about relationships and the whole high value, low value thing. And this is the first time I've seen a woman really run laps around a man as far as regarding relationship talk. Usually women don't be knowing what the fuck they're talking about. But, man, she had Cam up there looking crazy. Cam was up there looking crazy. So I'm going to play the clips, and we're going to react to it. We're going to talk about it. And y'all let me know what y'all think. But, man, Cam looked wild, bro. I'm not going to front. Cam looked crazy. What he was saying didn't make no sense. She had him triggered. She had him in his feelings. And, man, let's just... Let's talk about it, man. Let me pull the clips up. Let's start from, from point A. We're going to go from point A to point Z. Have beautiful children. How many? Eight. I, was, I thought I, I didn't do my research. I thought it was four, but eight. Okay. No, baby. Cool. It's, it's By how eight. many women? Three. And this is the kicker. I want more. Mm. Now. By multiple women what's the intent i just want god by your wife i just want god to bring them oh okay and you have so you just because my okay. point is this my desire to get married mm -hmm. is lower than my fear of divorce hey and before we before we kick it off y'all hit that like button man hit that like button it's free support is free hit that like button hit that share button hit that subscribe button let us know how y'all feel about the content in the comments we got byway podcast merch coming soon the order links will be up y'all support the movement because the movement is moving but yeah let's get back into this content though so in this first clip they discussing if cam newton is a high value man like i'm so tired of that term anyways rest in peace to kevin samuels that was his thing but they debating back and forth on if kevin i mean if um excuse me if cam newton would be considered a high value man so or a low functioning man because i guess people have been going out they way to say cam is it high value so i'm not mad. so let's get into it team it's been a grind they got these but i think crazy. i've aged you well yeah i'm getting that ad money some might say perfect who's ready yeah, got to show who's crazy. the cheesiest i woke up the cheesiest cow g g g official sponsor of the college football playoff with your prognosis Mm -hmm. Doc, mm -hmm. of my situation. Would you consider me a high value man? High valued or high functioning? High well, value and high functioning. Uh, high valued, yes. I think that you are. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, well, hold on. You, know, uh, you got my undivided attention. Okay. High so, valued, yes. Okay. Because obviously you have the value. Okay. Right? High functioning, I believe that you are a hybrid. I think that you are in the journey in the process of still becoming. I think that you're, you have more low functioning behaviors, seriously. And I think that yeah. your thoughts and emotions when you're allowing yourself to really be you, mm -hmm. not Cam Newton I'm on, not Cam on the field, whatever this personality you've created, um, 
I think your thoughts and emotions are high functioning when you're being the core of the essence of who you are. Uh, and I, and I, damn, I'm just going to be obedient. And, and I believe and hope that please your babies, free. especially your boys, they let more of that part of you that's in them shine and lead than not the decision making. I'm not saying then the part uh, that has nothing to do with decision making. Then the part. Okay. So basically Cam is looking for outside validation from the doc. People are saying Cam isn't a high value man because the lifestyle he chose to live having all these kids and all these baby mamas and not being married and whatnot so really if you watch the interview it's a two-hour interview i'm only playing the most notable clips that done went viral lately y'all can go back and watch the entire interview but in these clips she kind of broke cam down not even kind of she broke him down she went into explaining how he's creating all these broken homes and and why he will be considered a low functioning a man or what have you. So he got in his feelings a little bit. Let, let's go back to the clips though. Thank you. So I'm not married, yeah. right? I have beautiful children. How many? Eight. I, was, I thought I, I didn't do my research. I thought it was four, but eight. Okay. No, baby. Cool. It's, it's By how eight. many women? Three. And this is the kicker. I want more. Now. By multiple women? What's the intent? I just want God by to your bring wife? Him. I just want God to bring them. Oh, okay. And you have, so you just. Because bring, my okay. point is this. My desire to get married mm -hmm. is lower than my fear of divorce. So as you had said, Dr. Brian, you said it. I didn't say it. I will agree. I'm just taking my time. You're not hold taking on. your time. I am, though. You're being very... Hold on, hold on. He just thought he barred up just now. Like, the, the wink and the the way he said it, he thought he said the, the coolest, most intelligent shit in the world, and he really just said some dumbass shit just now. You got eight kids by three baby mamas. That's reckless as hell, number one, because for a fact, they don't all live in the same house as you. It's not like y'all doing some poly thing. Y'all got separate relationships going on where you got a couple kids sprinkled in this house. You got a couple kids sprinkled in that house. You got a couple kids sprinkled in that house. And to make up for it, you think money going to solve everything. You, you think money is the answer. Oh, I'm rich. I'm in the NFL. I could afford to take care of all the kids financially. But physically, you're not there. Your physical presence as a man is not there. Like, even if they was in the same house, you could only spend so much time with each kid. With eight kids, your attention is spread thin. Your, 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 your chance at being there for them physically is already spread thin with eight kids as it is. Now, imagine putting them in three different homes. Like, come on, bro. Realistically, how much time are you able to spend with eight kids spread across three different homes and you live life on the road. You was in the NFL for over a decade. So we already know you on the road for X amount of months out the year anyway. Practice, training camp, media runs. Like you damn near gone year round. You feel me? That's why Brady wife divorced him because she got tired of that lifestyle. Not only that, you got you on a podcast now. You do a media. So you all over the place. You shaking hands, kissing babies. You got these interviews. You going to interviews. Bro, you're never around physically. You're making up for it with money, but money don't raise kids. Kids need you there. Kids need you to teach them about life and give them life lessons. They need your physical presence more than they need the money because your, your kids' mothers can only do so much. We all see the statistics of how kids turn out when they raise in single mother homes. You created three of them. Three. Like, come on, bro. You got to be for real. But let's get back to the content. Let's see what she rebuttal with. Very action based. You're not taking your time. You're being very action based. I'm taking my time. You're being very action based. You have eight kids yeah. with three different women. Yes. You are creating, procreating, and multiplying. That is not taking your time. You're being very selectively active. Mm. Okay. So you're creating. Mm -hmm. In disclaimer, 
the kids are innocent. They are beautiful and amazing. Anything I say has nothing to do with them babies because I, I can't wait to be a mom and I love, 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 love the ba- kids, period. Um, but you are proactively... Congresswoman Michelle Steele is oh, leading man. in Congress, championing hey, bipartisan solutions before, to make life more affordable. Was and now there's a new opportunity to lower costs by cutting red tape. Tell Congresswoman money, Michelle right Steele now. to support the Red Tape Reduction I'm Act. I'm not a hater. It's Chevron Contecron. Me siento muy bien. Me da un viaje insuperable. Y mi motor anda tan limpio. Ah, en serio, dime, ¿qué cambió? Te digo que Chevron Contecron choosing where you want to be active at and where you want to take your time. Mm -hmm. You want to take your time in having a wife because of your own fears. But you will, and I say this with all respect and love, what I'm about to say next, okay, Cam? But you will selfishly create broken families, even if you're in their life and you're a proactive father, and I believe you're an amazing daddy. I can only imagine with just your presence and, and knowing you thus far. But these families are still broken. Every child cannot have Papa in the house with them. So some child, if not all, all will end up with some kind of deficit without daddy being there. Mm-hmm. Now, you chose to do that. I'm not saying you sat there and woke up one morning and said, I want to be selfish today, so I'm going to go make a baby. Not saying that at all. But those are selfish acts at the expense of your fear. So at what point do you feel the fear? Do it anyways. And yeah, that is a low-functioning behavior mm. to say that I am going to create these homes. Oh, let me go better. I'm going to build these houses and put kids and these beautiful women and kids in them, but I ain't going to create a home in them. I'm going to wait till I dissipate my fear to find a wife where I'm still going to be fearful with because there's no such thing as not having some type of nerve or some type of feeling behind marrying somebody who you're spending your... Okay, let me pause right there. So basically he's saying he's more afraid of getting divorced Then he is getting married because we all know the marriage rates, the marriage rates are lower than the divorce rate. So the chance of having a successful marriage in today's society is fuck. It's damn near slim to none. Like damn near everybody we see get married end up getting divorced. Judge Mathis just got divorced. His wife just divorced him after 39 years. So men are seeing men are seeing women divorce men at a high rate so he's basically saying like he's fearful of that mind you you know he has wealth he's rich he's in the nfl he don't want to lose his assets so he's saying i'd rather just co-parent than put my finances on the line in a marriage cali what's the deal bro what's the deal what's the deal good morning bro yeah what's the deal top of the top man we're reacting to this cam newton thing man he in here getting deep fried right now she reading him his right and to everybody out there excuse me for the commercials but I wanted to show it on Cam Newton's page so mm. people can go subscribe to his shit. Because as a creator, I hate when people react to things and they don't give you the credit. So I can't control the commercials on his channel because that's how he's getting his money. So I'm also supporting him by letting the commercials play because he's getting paid every time we watch an ad. So from creator to creator, shout out Cam Newton. But he's getting deep fried right now. <laughs> So let's get back into the content a little bit and I'm gonna let Callie jump in. Your life with, and then I'm gonna build a home with her while all these other beautiful babies have houses. That's completely unfair and it's selfish. Just tell me when I can solve. Yeah, almost. That's completely unfair and that's selfish. And so, yes, you're taking your time in this department, but you're not taking your time in this department, which means you're compartmentalizing. And compartmentalizing never works. Compartmentalizing hurts everybody involved. Everybody who's in this box and that box and this box and that box and this box. And then here you go over here trying to figure out what box you're going to feed or entertain or do. Then you're looking outside to figure out who's your next victim to put in the box. It's unhealthy. And it's, it's a huge dysfunction within our Black community that I truly believe personally, statistically, mental health wise, and community wise, that black men would stop. Black men would what? Stop, stop doing that, that they would stop that dysfunctional behavior. Okay, I gotta stop right there because she was cooking and then she kind of lost me with the compartmentalized part. There's nothing wrong with being able to compartmentalize. What she was basically alluding to was how men are able to deal with multiple women and it not affect them the way women do. So she low-key tried to villainize 
that skill that we possess and i'm not letting that one fly i'm sorry we don't operate the same we don't think the same men can deal with multiple different women and not be an emotional wreck the way women are when they try to deal with multiple different men we're not wired the same we're not built the same so being able to compartmentalize is a skill that men possess that women really don't so i can be stressed out from the ills of the world i got work over here i'm trying to put food on the table over here my my kids asking me for money every day here i gotta still support my girl and keep her happy over here and i gotta still keep my sanity and keep my game face on so my family don't see me cracking under pressure that's compartmentalizing a woman she'll have all of that and she'll come home and take it out on the family and take it out on the kids and it'll start to show in her relationship so Compart being able to compartmentalize is like a superpower. So I'm not gonna allow her to get that shit off. How you feel about it, Kelly? I'm I'm mute your mic fully. Sure. No, I agree with you. I was saying I I think that being able to compartmentalize is one thing that men have over women is the ability to be able to have this emotion for this period of time, or you know what I mean, this reaction to this period of time. And like what you said, you know, we are different. Therefore. We can deal with multiple women and it not necessarily affect us the way that a woman's going to feel dealing with multiple men or if she knows you're dealing with uh, multiple women. And so I think, too, what she's kind of speaking to maybe is the responsibility of if you're going to have a whole bunch of kids, um, how will you afford the time for them? But in my opinion, if because I think he got three baby mamas now, I think um, three baby mamas, eight kids, eight kids. So this is what I'm going to say about it is he obviously has the money to do it. And if he's able to take care of them all, then I don't see the problem with it. I don't see him. I don't see why he's getting villainized for wanting to have more kids to carry on his last name. Now, if he's not able to take care of those kids and, and you know what I mean, possibly the women behind him, then that's when it becomes a problem and it becomes reckless. See, this is this is where my pushback is on that. We start to confuse taking care of kids as being able to fund them financially. Yeah. And the major part of taking care of a kid is your presence and the game you give them the knowledge you give them the skill you give them to create productive humans for society money alone can't do that we know a lot of we see examples of a lot of kids who grew up with money and their parents didn't give them no skill and they don't know how to survive in the real in the real world so that's the issue is you can't physically be there for eight kids in three different homes you can only be in one home at a time it's impossible. You know what I'm saying? So if you got three kids in this house and you spending the night at this house tonight, guess what? You got two other home full of kids that dad ain't around. So somebody found so that so that's what she's mainly getting at. But yeah, let's get back into the content, man, because she she's cooking this man. Behavior of compartmentalizing and creating houses, not homes, mm -hmm. and then finally a home with the wife. And then you have all these other houses that are homeless. But you over here at some point when you do get a wife, if you do, I'm saying if that's what you want, you will. You'll get whatever you want. You're trying to create a home. Totally dysfunctional and extremely, that's the epitome of selfish. Epitome of selfish. I'm done. You can go for okay, it. Okay, Silas. All right. So uh, <laughs> what identifies as a broken home? Um, what you have going on with these, whoever you're not in the house with is a broken home. It's called a blended family. It's called but a blended family. That means that the family is blended. So blended. So means, blended means broken. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the guy that you were entertaining, mm -hmm. you would go as low as twenty six. That I would entertain. Yes. Oh, got it. Okay. okay. Let's stop there. Do you do you agree with her saying a blended family is a broken home? Um. No, not a hundred percent. Because, for instance, a lot of us. Well, I mean, from the traditional standpoint of view, if you and what I'm thinking, caught in the like, matrix a little bit. You said what? You got caught in the matrix a little bit. Um, what I was saying is, I mean, what I'm assuming she means by blended is like you might grow up with a, just a mom and somebody else or your grandma. Is that what she's saying by that? Or she's I saying mean, like she bas she's basically saying, household. okay, in in his case, blended would mean he has multiple baby mothers and he's saying they all get along. So at some point, they may all be together. I mean, from a traditional standpoint, um, you know, no mother, no father, like just single home unit. It could be looked at as broken. But we've also seen the traditional nuclear family, I mean, be broken as hell and be toxic as hell. So in my opinion, if the inside of the home is right, 
even if it's blended, then it can't be broken because kids are still going to get raised the way that they're supposed to if they're getting the love from their mother and the love from their father. And then, you know what I mean? Everything is okay at home. And if they see everything's okay between those two, then in my opinion, that's better than having a parents that are married for 40 years, but is beating on each other or is getting thrown out every other night, et cetera. See, yeah, see, to me, blended don't mean broken because if let's say you and your girl have kids, y'all don't get married, y'all wind up split, growing apart, y'all split, and you go find a mate that is better suited for you and your children than their own actual mother, and y'all get together and y'all get married, and now y'all can join families. Maybe she had a kid from a previous marriage or she had a kid from a broken relationship. And by y'all being together is a better environment for the kids mm -hmm. than if y'all would have been with the biological parent. Well, now you fix the broken home because you can have two biological parents and the home is broken. The mom ain't shit or the dad ain't shit or it's a super toxic environment for the kids. So blended does not automatically always mean broken because I actually advise single parents to go find other single parents and blend the family so the kid still has action at a nuclear family. Even if you are co-parenting with the other parent and y'all both found mates somewhere else, now you have two homes that the kids are going back and forth in that they still have that nuclear structure. There's a man and a woman coexisting peacefully and successfully and giving the example to the children. That's Way better than you here by yourself, she here by yourself, and they bouncing back and forth. To me, that's destructive and that's that's um broken. So uh, I'm not really really. I'm not rocking with that. Yeah, I'm not rocking with that. Blended is. Broken. I ain't rocking with that. Let's get back into it though. Okay. And as high as what age? Whatever man that doesn't have kids. As high as. Whoever what? doesn't have kids, whatever age he is with no kids. I just, I just. That's no, that's the age. I'm saying I don't have an age range as far as how old if he has no kids. So your non-negotiable is a person who does not have children. My non-negotiable is a person with kids. But yes, I, I get what you're, how you're saying it. Yes. So you cannot date a person. You cannot be with a I person. I can, but I'm choosing not to. So... I can it, be it, with like, anyone, but like I'm choosing you're, not you're, to. You're, 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 I got to correct it. It's my narrative, mm -hmm. Cam. Okay, before we get into this spill, because this is where... I'm finna get on her because she lost me with this one. Mind you, she's gorgeous. She's intelligent. She's successful. She's 41. Single. Unmarried. No the likelihood. kids. The likelihood. I'm going to say it again. She's 41. She's single. She's not married. She has no kids. Her, her uh, non-negotiable is a man with kids, meaning she's refusing to date a man with kids. So she's 41. So the likelihood of her meeting a man with no kids is slim to none, which is why right. Cam, Cam asked her, well, what's the lowest you would go as far as age? And she said around 27 to 28. Keep, keep this in mind, people. <laughs> 27 to 28. And the oldest, she has no limit as long as he doesn't have kids. So let's see what she says. Let's get back into it. Am You're I like can, jumping in, I jumping out. It's either. Can. No, no, it's not I can't. There's no such thing. I can date whoever I want. I'm definitely well equipped to do so. Okay. So I'm not going to allow that word to be something that fits what I can't do. I'm well equipped to date anybody. Yes. My preference, yes. because there's nothing wrong with a lot of men who have kids. So I don't want to put that narrative out there. Yeah. My personal preference is I would not choose to date a man with kids. Okay. Yes. So you're dating a man with kids. Team, it's been a grind. Oh, Cam, get but your I money, man. I've aged you. Hey, hey, you shoot the oil. Some might say perfect. Who's ready? What? Who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest guy. Who's the ass, y'all? I'm going to help Cam get his money up. <laughs> Just a scenario. Oh, okay, got it. Yes. You're dating a man with kids. Yes. So you've identified that that's a broken home from the jump <laughs> with your verbiage of blended family means broken. I've identified that I'm dating a broken man who is creating who he is because we could teach what we know, we create who we are. And so broken people create brokenness, whether it's through a child, whether it's through a relationship, whether it's through themselves. It doesn't have to be a beautiful baby, but you're creating brokenness. And broken people can come from married households. Okay. Here's, 
Here's where the woman brain is taking over and she getting lost in the sauce. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she cooked Cam on the creating broken homes by having all these baby mamas and kids in different homes. I'm with her on that. The compartmentalized part, she lost me and she losing me here. She basically saying people who come from broken homes, they're broken and they create more broken homes. And she's alluding to the fact that the way she's wording it, like it's damn near impossible for someone who comes from a broken home to break that generational curse, which is what we're all about doing. Because you can come from a broken home and you can turn your life around and you can have create the next generation to be successful, to not follow that path. So by her logic, it's not making sense. You're basically saying if you come from a broken home, every generation after you is doomed and they're going to be broken, basically. You're going to create broken people. They're going to create broken people. And it's impossible for you to to um, break that cycle. So I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that either because, I mean, we've seen multiple examples of people who come from broken homes who honestly go above and beyond to make sure that they don't give that to their kids. Uh, obviously, everybody lacks in some way. Uh, we're human. We're not perfect. But I've, I've seen it with my own eyes um, just from growing up that there's people who come from broken homes that then do the best that they can to make sure that their kid doesn't. So these automatic uh, labels she's putting on people and placing on them, it's, it's, it's unrealistic because we know there's people that defy those those odds every single day. And, and this, this is the crazy part. I'm one of them. I, I done hit every stereotype you can hit. Single mother home, went to jail, went to prison, been in the game, overcame all that. Now I'm successful. Every house on my block a million dollars. The house I'm living in is damn near a million dollars. Got my own my own platform. Got my own studio. My, my kids done been out the country. I done traveled around half this motherfucking world. I'm in an income bracket where only the top 15% of society will ever reach. So I'm I'm a living proof example of it. You know what I'm saying? Blended family and everything. I'm living proof. And I will go as far as to say as she's proof of being broken. You're 41, mm. un, you're single, unmarried, no kids. By societal standards, that's a failure as a woman. You failed. You failed to, to have somebody commit to you. You failed to have somebody want to take your hand in marriage. You failed at finding someone to create a family with. When let's, let's be realistic as a woman, God created you for that. You were created to be a helpmate to a man. So from 18 to 41, you failed at doing that. So you could get up here and pop all this, I'm high value, high this and that. No, you're not. Because high value women don't make it to 41 without not finding a husband and kids. You getting no. scooped up early in your prime. 18 to 25, you high value, you off the market, guarantee. Somebody trying to put a baby in that thing. Whether it's Tyrone down the block or is the dude with the multi-million dollar company. Somebody's trying to knock you up and lock you down. Yeah. So she's a walking red flag to me, as beautiful as she is. But let's get back into the content. And I, yeah. I'm not saying that a two-parent household can't create the result of a child who then has brokenness and creates broken blended families everywhere. That's I'm not, not my, negating that's not, that. That's not my point. No, I know I'm making that point. I'm, I'm, but yes. But my point... My, my answer is I not identify that those homes are houses without a home because he's not in them, yeah. but also that he's a broken man. Okay, let me interject because I'm, I'm reading comments on, on Instagram right now. Someone said in this interview, she says she walked away from two engagements. Again, failure. Women don't walk away from engagements from men they want to marry. So if you walked away, that means that wasn't the man that you wanted. So still, even though two men proposed to you they weren't the men that you want so your own track record is showing you can't get the men that you want because in this interview she says i can date who i want yeah you can get smashed by who you want you're beautiful <laughs> you're fine you got a nice body you're intelligent you're fine but somewhere between smashing and being in a relationship with you they getting lost in the sauce they're not wanting to keep that product they sending that product back to the market like everything that glitters ain't gold type of shit. So if 
you can't get the men that you want to propose to you. Saying you walked away from engagement is only saying that you're a failure. You're bragging about failure, which is what a lot of women do. These engagement queens. I've been engaged before. Yeah, that's failure. You didn't make it to the finish line. Facts. And I've also seen multiple um, tweets come out that she's not even a, um, a real doctor. So I went and checked her bio and it just says she was in pursuit of it. Which, So if you, if you, if you read the verbiage of the bio, it doesn't really say she has uh, or she is actually a doctor. So I'm not even 100% sure she is actually a doctor. Um, <laughs> and with that being said to me, I feel like that's where some of the contradictions do come in and, and you don't necessarily have, uh, I think the right to tell somebody to clean their own backyard if yours is still a little dirty, which I feel like the more she talks, that's where the contradictions for me are coming in. And I'm starting to see that. Oh, she from Long Beach. Okay. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> So from what she I mean, the okay, she was on the east side. That tell me everything I need to know. But yeah, let's get back into the content. But you're going to be a broken man. No, I won't. I just said I wouldn't be with a man. I wouldn't be with a broken man who has multiple kids. I will no, take no, no, a no, no, no. not multiple. I'm well, talking a kid. A kid. It doesn't so matter. So you're I not wanna... going to date a man with children. No, but let me clear this up because you said I won't. They broke a man. That's not what I said. Crazy. No, I said, are you? Listen to what I'm I heard saying, you. Dog. Let me answer it. Hold on. We all have a level of brokenness. So will I date a broken man? Yes. Am I going to date a certain type of brokenness? No. Of course you're not. And that type of brokenness is a man who has kids outside of me isn't something that's conducive for what I want forever. But will you date him? No. So... That goes to my point. I'm trying to ask a mm -hmm. question. You have two different men right here. Mm -hmm. One man who has... I will not date a man with kids. Okay, that's all I'm asking. Yes, I will But not. do you understand, just off of the statistics... Mm -hmm. Here we go. Go ahead and be a statistic and say it. Hey, I hear it all the time. You're the feelings. What? Say it. You say what you're saying, and I'm going to either... Based agree. on statistics, most men have kids. Go for it. At your age. But that's why I said early on, Cam... When you said young and remember the patience of me being older woman, I said, well, for, you know, a woman who has certain qualifications or criterions, like no kids, yeah. that would be, I have to have enough brain cells to know, baby, that's the payoff. Okay, he may be younger, successful, no kids, but mm -hmm. now you have to make sure you implement oh. the patience. Hit the cap button. Hit the hit the uh, fucking cap button. Yeah, she all tripping. that mumbo jumbo shit she talking. Nah, we not letting that slide. I can't believe Cam in there letting that slide. Yeah, this bullshit. What he just said. You're 41 with no kids. Your non-negotiable is a man with kids. So that's damn near at your age. The type of men that you want, that you're looking for, successful, high value, slim to none. And the ones who have no kids, you could best believe they're looking to have kids. There's no point in building an empire with not a hair to the throne to pass it down to. And you a 41 year old, you can't give me that. Your eggs are cooked. You lost 99% of them after 30. So I might lose my wife trying to have kids with you at 41. Not doing that. And as fine as you are, I can go find you in a 21 year old body in a 25 year old's body in a 27 year old body as beautiful as you are it's 8.2 billion people in the world it's beautiful women everywhere everywhere and i'm wealthy why would i give all my wealth to a 41 year old that's a walking red flag anyway because i'm looking like damn from 18 to 41 nobody wants to take you serious why would i be the one to take you serious so that was my next question was going to be, I wonder how she feels about if you're willing to date a younger man who is successful with no kids, how do you feel about the thought of him entertaining multiple women? Because more than likely, that's what he's going to be doing. So I, I, I'm wondering if, you know, for her requirements, if she if she's even willing or able to deal with what it's actually going to come with, or is she just talking because it, it sounds good to, to sort of try to win the argument right now? This is where the lie came in at. She said... I'm willing to deal with a younger man who is less successful than what I'm looking for and have patience. 
Lady, you 41. How much patience do you have left at 41? It ain't that much patience in the world. Let's be real. Younger men want cougars to add notches to our belts. Like, damn, I took down this fine ass cougar. And usually they have money and they tricking. And usually they providing some type of lifestyle enhancement for the younger man. We, if you ever fuck with it with an older woman, that's what they own. We was young niggas, fresh out of high school, no car outside thugging. You go knock a chick at the Cougar Club. What she do? Uh, she driving her car. She giving you keys to her apartment. She she fucking your brains out. She cooking for you. She doing she doing everything you need a woman to do, without the commitment. She just wants some young dick. She just wants you to come blow her back out. Cause these old niggas can't get the job no more. They can't get it up. Uh, so now they hunting for the young blood. That's her. Like what the homie just said, punching bag. She just hang there and get hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. cut it out and cut it out with that patient shit. Women who are successful, women are hypergamous. So if they're more successful than you, it's zero patience for you. It's get it done today or I'm gone tomorrow. All that, I'm going to sit there, nurture him, and get him up to my level. Bitch, no, you're not. Because you're looking at these men across the room that's already on that level, and you're going to try to go get one of them. Let's keep it real. Cut the it more- out. The more I hear her speak, it just sounds, it all sounds like bullshit. Because again, if you're willing to, if you're willing to deal with a younger dude at this point, and like you said, how much patience do you have? I don't think marriage could be the, and kids could be the long-term goal at this point. Like, I don't, I don't see that as a realistic goal to a certain degree at 41. In, 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 my, in my opinion, I feel like how long will it take to, find a dude and then at that point build that relationship then at that point have kids unless you're gonna do it in the first you know what i mean year you meet them but even then the clock is ticking so it sounded like mumbo jumbo to me sound like cap man the clock is ticked out the alarm done went off 11 years ago right because <laughs> it's talking about like 30 years old yeah you, so you like, hit the wall 11 years ago lady let's get back into it though or you get you an older man who has kids mm-hmm. and he could have been married with his kids. There's a lot of different scenarios why men have kids, okay? Mm-hmm. But then you don't have to have as much patience with him as maturity wise. But do you want to have to have patience to say, and it's not even dealing with, because that's not bad. Do you want to have enough patience to gut the fact that you are dating a man with young kids or grown kids and that's against what you want your value system? For me, I rather choose the poison of, I'll have patience with you, baby. We'll just have to figure this out and I'm cool with that. And we'll have a good time in the meantime. Then I know that you have kids. It's against something I, I never told. wanted as a child. And now- She just told on herself. Yeah, like it's- easy. You'll have a good time in the meantime. That's Lady, you say about. you want some dick. That's what she care about, bro. Just say you want some dick. You want some young meat. You want that young masculinity in his prime, knocking that thing back. Just say that. That's all it is. Let's say you willing to put up with that for a while until the thrill is gone and you on to the next. On to the next. Exactly. Call this alphabetical mumbo jumbo soup of I'm willing to wait and no, you willing to get your back blown out until the thrill is gone. That's what it sounds like to me. That's what it sounds like to me. And that would that would match up with her life scenario of what being engaged or or not. She said she walked away from two engagements, correct? Yeah, that's what she said. Like it just this is textbook i think i think she thinks you know she's not giving that off but at least for people like us we're able to see it clear as day no for facts facts if you have young kids i'm gonna be very involved because i'm a loving woman i'm never gonna take but you're giving a scenario that you're saying yeah, yeah, that wouldn't do oh and what cam let slip by she said since a kid i never even wanted kids so now she finna cap and say oh well if i did get involved with somebody with kids i would be involved with the kids Lady, you don't even want kids. She back and forth, yeah. You don't want to be a, a real mother to your own kids. So you telling me you finna come be a great mother to someone else's kid? Lady, please, cut it the fuck out. But yeah. Right, and those are the reasons why I wouldn't do them. For sure. Because I'm going to be involved, right? I'm never going to be a woman who's not. But I must defend this situation. Mm-hmm. I have eight children. And... Eight beautiful babies. I'm I sure. will not... No baby mother of mine could ever say that she's a single mother because single mother insinuates that she has no help. So for mm-hmm. me in my situation, mm-hmm. life be life. That's a common. Yeah, it does. I agree. And 
my situation is a product of life, life. happening. Mm-hmm. So, and none of us are exempt from it. Of course. <laughs> right. So right, we right. have preferences. 100%. We have things that we could say, okay, I would love to do this. Right. I'm raised in a church. So my father would always direct us to say, hey, be this, be that, be that, be this. Right. But I can also tell my father this, your reality mm-hmm. is not my reality. 100%. You walking into 7-Eleven is different than your son walking into 7-Eleven. I'm sorry. Makes sense to you. So I can't agree with you, and we can agree to disagree, Mm -hmm. that I'm not creating broken homes. I'm doing the best with the situation that I was given. And am I disagree with bro. What? You said what? I disagree with bro. What the fuck is he talking about? This nigga, bro, this why I be... (laughs) (laughs) This nigga, if you really listen, that's why I'm like, this nigga saying stupid shit. What the fuck is this man talking about? (laughs) Life be lifing? Nigga, you having kids, that's all you do it. He trying to to say, because he he pretty much trying to say because he's rich and famous that he's going to fuck a lot and and have kids and he's not going to care about it. You know what I mean? He's because he's still going to take care of them by really, like you said, funding, I feel like more than anything. So uh, to me, that's what bro is saying. This, this nigga point. said, life be life in. <laughs> I'm doing the best with the situation I was given. Nigga, you sticking your dick in these bitches raw. You not pulling out. What you mean situation you was given? You creating these situations. Yeah, he tripping. Come on, yeah, my dad walking into 7-Eleven <laughs> ain't the same as me walking into 7-Eleven because I'm famous and he not. So because I'm famous, I got to fuck these bitches raw and create kids all over the motherfucking place. Crazy. I'm doing the best I can do with it. Bro, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Them jeggings you got on is too tight. They cutting <laughs> off the circulation of your brain, nigga. You're not thinking. You think you saying some cool shit. You saying yeah. some dumb ass shit. He said like, bro, cool shit, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, looking, looking crazy. Bro. This nigga quick. Yeah, First of all, easy. bro, you like 6'6". Six, six, 260. Put some bigger pants on, gang. Yeah, peacock hat on. Come on, bro. Look, you <laughs> cut the top of the hat out. Just, like, <laughs> Kill, <Damn>, man. <laughs> Come holla at us, man. Damn, cut. Holla at us, cut. We'll get you some borrow away merch and get you all the way together. Because this, these ensembles, you think you be doing it too. This is why it'd be hard to watch the interviews. I got to listen to the audio. Because this nigga. 6'6", six, six, 290, with these tight-ass jeggings on and his legs crossed. I don't even think she got her legs crossed. She chilly, yeah. <laughs> she sitting more That's like a crazy. nigga than Cub. That's crazy, man. Come on, Cub. This nigga, bro, CTE protocol, Cub. Somebody go check on this nigga. <laughs> this nigga brain been rattled. So, hands-on father? Absolutely. I don't ascribe to just bringing fatherless children or motherless children into this world. I have an unbelievable relationship with the mothers of my children. Mm -hmm. And it's healthy co-parenting that we show the children real love, real communication, real orders of all. Y'all can go watch the rest of the interview, but he got cooked and she cooked herself in the process. It's Mm -hmm. two cooked people sitting in these chairs. They both deep fried. And if you ask me, they low key need to get together because he needs her guidance. I'm sorry to say, yes, a man needs the guidance of a woman because Cam needs some guidance out here. He out here reckless as hell. Doing he think he's saying some cool shit. He's saying some dumb shit. <laughs> she thinks she's saying some cool shit. She's saying some dumb shit. And they damn near a match made in hell. They might as well just get together. Fuck it. Get together. <laughs> Fuck it. Man. But yeah, y'all. Uh, yeah, what's your final synopsis on this? I agree. I, I, I agree. I've watched Cam Newton, uh, you know, a, a good amount of times. And like we already said, he he, he does the word soup, the word salad shit sometimes. Uh, I think that he was just on the edge because, like you said, or like he said, he has eight kids. I mean, so he tried to defend that. It's really no defending it. Um, I don't think there's a way for him to be active in everybody's life. So he got cooked on af- that aspect. But so did she. And to me, she got cooked more because she came in there trying to I feel like over philosophize some shit. And in reality, she doesn't have the life to match up with what the advice she's trying to give. So it's two cook people sitting in the chairs for sure. See, I think she came to she came to run the narrative for women. 
it wasn't necessarily authentically about giving him advice because once she started running off with the yeah my non-negotiable is a man with no kids because for years men have been getting on these apps saying hey don't date single mothers so now she's trying to spin the narrative for the women saying don't date single fathers but what she don't understand is women's mind don't operate the same women look at successful men with kids as more of an option damn near than, than a man without she got to understand how women think Women choose men, especially if he's successful. His baby mama bad. She like, damn, yeah, what he's, do you he's got good. going on that yeah. she chose him? I want what she got and what he's providing. Especially if you a good husband, man, they finna be all in your DMs. Right? Okay. That's what they want. And you're already proven to be able to do that. So women will actually try to steal you away from your woman because they want the life you've given her. She like, why take a gamble with these niggas out here? when I have a prime example of someone doing it right here, he's doing it currently. I want that. So yeah, bro. She just tried to run that narrative for the sisterhood and that shit backfired. She 41 unmarried, no kids. I mean, she's a beautiful loser, she's a beautiful, <laughs> successful loser in, in layman's terms. Any woman over the age of 30, 40 with no kids is a loser. You're unmarried. You ain't got your spouse by now. You're a loser. You have from 18 to 40 to get somebody to commit to you, and you still can't. You on podcast talking about I can date who I want. Well, why the fuck ain't you dating who you want? <laughs> and Cam, bro, don't have no more kids, gang. Yeah, that's good. Be there for the eight that you got. Listen, I got two in a blended family, so we got three in here. So, nigga, do you know how hard it is to spend time <laughs> with these two? Work, gym, hobbies, side hustles podcasts sports practice dinner homework nigga you lucky to get an hour a day with your kids to have quality time and then after that hour they want to go get on their phones play video games talk to their friend they're not trying to sit with your ass like that <laughs> so you got eight of them bro come on man stop playing stop playing bro you out here making niggas look crazy <laughs> like i said y'all match made in hell y'all need to get together and just ride it out because that 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 um high value 27 year old with no kids that wants to marry her and not have kids she's in la la land yeah that's not happening she that's might need rare. a question protocol she might got cte she's <laughs> fuck out of here but yeah y'all share like subscribe to the channel run us up i'm finna have the um the links for the merch put y'all orders in i'm pulling up on people if you out of state i'm shipping it Man, let's run it up. Let's get it cracking. Come on now. The viral way. We out of here. Shout out to all the supporters, too. Everybody in the chat. Hey. Uh, ain't no handouts. I did it from the ground up. Yeah. In the streets, dug in hardest where they found us. Got a problem, nigga. Watch my troopers mount up. My bitch a thing, too. And you a lame, though. You niggas ain't outside. Yeah, we came through. You want your lights up? We put you on the shade.